They've used what components in this? Oh my days. Now this is what we call a mouse. So today we're going to be tearing down the Pulsar X2 V2. We're going to take it into little bits. We're going to check out the things like the encoder, the switches, the MCU, the sensor. So you understand exactly what you're getting for your money here. We'll also be sitting there and weighing little bits of it for people like to mod it like myself. I've been modding gaming mice now for a long time. and trying to get the best out of them so I understand mice a lot. I've got over 230 mice in my collection. Put a link in the description to my video so you can take a look at that and see what I know about mice. Those things like reviews on keyboards as well. So if you're interested in that stuff, you're definitely on the right channel. All right, so let's take apart the Pulsar X2 V2 Mini here. It's the same as a normal X2 V2, but we'll give it a quick check, see what's going on. Interesting. Maybe two PCBs there, I don't know. Check every component, check the MCUs. Two switches, see what we've got. 52. They don't curl too much. A little bit, but they'll definitely go flat when they're rounded off the bat. Not like Logitech's. Where you buy stock and you've got to basically, uh, <laughs> basically got to put new skates in it straight away out of the box. Brilliant. Quite thin. Point seven. You actually put notches in as well for you to be able to get the skates off a little bit easier. It doesn't actually help that much, I don't think, in my opinion. But they've got two, one on each side, and one on each side of the rear as well. Two screws to take out. Front has got none, so it must be clipped. So it's a standard, uh, pretty standard screwdriver. Max and a blue encoder, it's looking like. Interesting there. Uh, you see, people are trying to brace it basically. That's why it's probably a little bit firmer. Even with the brace, maybe the shell, but you still get, like, you'll still get some movement, you see, at the top. Unless you, like, fully, like, get that distance right, you still get a little bit of play in it. So, decent design there, four screws. that at the same time. So I wanted black shell white dots. I would have preferred a nicer switch, gotta be honest. In the uh, sides, I don't find them particularly nice. But they're probably the only ones maybe that have a dog leg configuration. These are quite a hard switch to get this dog legs pin set up. So it's a lift up. Next was on. And get the little uh, LED light registered for. So There's a difference between like us trying to make weight reductions and someone who I guess he's trying to not get a lot of RMAs, so I can kind of get away with it, but they can't. It's interesting, seen that before. Fronts are hooked in, better design than a lot of them with like the pins that go over the top. 
single screw on the mains and then it's pinned as well stop the uh, movement left to right decent a lot of clip mount points still using a pretty standard side button config they're all pretty optimized got this in the back i don't see those put a lot of them are putting that on the back it must be when people put a lot of palm pressure but we've got what's that magnets i've not seen that before Oh yeah, they ping off, don't they? I forgot about that, Chiz Ninja. Yeah, forget that. Why did they got ping, they got a blanking plate that I've missed or something on these. Someone said that yeah, the other day. The only thing I could think of is got some weird blanking plate. First time I've seen that, apart from the G Pro wireless. Two screws, nice to see these using screws and not uh, plastic rivets. You know what I mean? That's like comfort grooving them. So, but it is there. Uh, decent thickness as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit too flexy, but when they try and lighten them up, this one's not bad. So far, Pulsar's standard, decent build quality. Here's a shell, looks nice. Still 12 grams, no one's making lighter shells at the minute. It's nice to see they've uh, put white wires here and like the renders of the uh, new final mouse when <laughs> they're still coloured. And even the, the normal starlights, they don't put the, uh, they don't get custom cables, but how easy it is. I don't understand why they don't do it. This is a different mechanism, I've never seen this. So look at this, look at this like, lift up piece and then that goes down and then when you push the scroll wheel it activates the switch interesting not bad different they look more like the uh, logi ones i think aren't they these to be fair and these are the on ones from logi uh r-a-s r-a-e-s is it m or h-m see that They're a little bit mushy for me. Still not, not the best. And the most of pre-travel is in the switch. Like on the plunger, like that there's all pre. Switch is actually there. So all that's pre-movement. That's why you see the buttons moving quite a lot. I was hoping that come off in one piece, but nope. Nope. 300. Five screws, one, two, three, four, five. Bit of a tight fit, this. Little bearings on it. What the hell? I've never seen that. That's definitely a first. This is a nice score well set up. So I pulse are stepping it up, man. Like I said, I don't know who they are. Yeah, it's got bearings on it. <laughs> the hell? Look at a job they've done. 
There's a lesson for some people. This is a high quality, low weight mouse. So first thing that rages me using a Hirano blue dot, they use white dot on the uh, side, so please use the same switches. I know you can't use OptoMax, but come on, man. Well, these look interchangeable like the uh, Razer ones. It could be similar to the Razer, actually, aren't they? Checking on the same as the Gen 2, Gen 3 Razer. Just so happened to have a Razer PCB here. Yeah? So this is the Cobra Wired, if I remember rightly. And this is a Pulsar. Oh, just smashed all the things together. They look identical. Try a razor in it. There we go. A PCB from full style with razor switches. Tidy. It'll make absolutely no difference. Make you put the older gen in after the gen ones. They do feel mushy. That's those, even the uh, cobra ones feel slightly snappier, I would say. But yeah, okay, interesting. So at least you know you can put razor switches in it now if you want. We've got plenty of them lying around. And you can actually buy them, can't you, in Ali Express? There's plenty of them. So you could maybe get some different clicks in it. I get these slightly tighter switches. So there's the PCB now. Here's the encoder, it's a blue one. Pulsar, is that 9S? Is a nine millimeter? Yeah, it's about a nine mil, I think. So we're rocking. Since there's a PW 3395, and then I can't tell the rest because it's got a little glue on it or something. So that's a shame, but never mind. I look at the MCU. The N5 28 Summit 3, whichever one that one is. It's a decent one anyway. <laughs> Here's what the base looks like. I've got some buttons in it. That one's there. Uh, rivet it in. It's like a rivet the power, I guess the power button's got to move left to right. I need to take the sticker off. All right, we've got one sticker, let's get that off. I mean, overall, I think this is built pretty well. I, like, I love the scroll wheel. A scroll wheel and the, the way the bearings are and stuff, that's that's nice. That is a, that's a nice scroll wheel. That's different, I'm not seeing bearings. On. Switches, I think the, I don't particularly like the Optomex in this, I think they're a little bit mushy, but you could swap them out for some other Razer Gen versions, although I find them mushy as well. Um, there's certainly a lot of pre travel in the switch itself on the plunger, and the, the click's not very nice on it at all, I don't think. But over there, I like this mouse, it's built extremely well. Encoder is quite notchy, I thought it was a bit like a Kale one, but maybe slightly more notchy than a Kale. They haven't got the same Harano switches in, which is annoying. They've got blue on the scroll and white dots on the uh, sides. But overall decent.